For this quadratic equation, there are many methods that we can use to solve it. But since they have not restricted us, we are going to use the quadratic formula. So first of all, you need to know that the coefficient of x squared is a. So a is a 3. The coefficient of x squared is a 3. Then the coefficient of x is a b. So a b in this case is 13. Then the constant is a c and in this case is a negative 7. All right. So now the quadratic formula is x is equal to minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac, then everything over 2a. So that's the quadratic formula that we have, that we are going to use. We are saying x because we are finding the value of x. Okay? So we just substitute the values. So b, so we're going to have negative b is 13. So negative 13 plus or minus the square root of b is 13. So 13 squared minus 4 times uh, a, a is 3, times c is negative 7. Then everything divided by 2 times a is a 3. All right, so we are going to have negative 13 plus or minus the square root so let's first work out what is in the square root. So 13 squared is same as 13 times 13, which is 169. Then negative 4 times 3 is negative 12. Then negative 12 times negative 7 is positive 84. It's becoming positive because you are multiplying negative and negative. So everything over 2 times 3 is a 6. Then we're going to have, let's work out what is in the brackets, negative 13 plus or minus uh, 169 plus 84 is uh, 253 over 6. So at this stage, we are having uh, x is equal to negative 13. We're going to take the positive part of this, so we're going to say plus the square root of 253 over 6 or x is equal to negative 13. Now we're getting the negative part minus the square root of 253 over 6. So what is needed is just to simplify these uh, equations all right so when we punch on the calculator we are going to have x is equal to negative 13 uh, plus the square root of uh, of 253 is uh, 15.9059 over 6 or x is equal to uh, negative 13 minus the square root of this is just this same one. So 15.905 uh, Then everything over 6. Then we are having x is equal to so here negative 13 plus 15.9059 is same as 15 minus 15.9059 minus 13 which gives positive 2.9059737721 then everything over 6 or x is equal to negative 13 minus 
15.9059 is same as you are adding. You are going in the negative. Okay, so you are going to have negative 28.9059732. One. Then everything over six. So we're going to have x is equal to, uh, when you divide this by 6, you have 0 0.48. Remember, they want you to write the answer correct to two decimal places. So we have two decimal places, 0 0.48. Or x is equal to, when you divide this, you are going to have negative 4.8. Two. This has been rounded off to two decimal places. So these are the solutions. Do you want to learn how to solve quadratic equations by the completing square method? Then just click on the video that is showing on the screen.